Hi guys, it's Alex. We're going to do another shave today. Uh, I've got a little uh, couple things I want to do for you before we do the shave and the joke. I've got a little hack here for you. The other day I went down to the store, one of these places my wife shops all the time, and I bought this bar of soap. It was a whole soap like this. And I picked this up from Ken Surf's. He melted some soap and made a, a shaving soap out of it. So what I did was, I picked up the soap, it's lavender, which I love lavender, and I cut it in half, and then I cut it in half again. And I took that half, and I put it inside this little shaving cup, or just a cup. I bought this at the dollar store for a dollar and a quarter. A dollar store and a dollar and a quarter. And then I took the soap and I put it in the microwave, put it in for one minute lower day temperature, and watch it every 30 seconds or so and make sure it wouldn't burn him. And I melted it down, then I took it and stuffed it down into the cup, took another cup and pressed it on top of it and let it dry. And now I got a soap in a cup. And we're gonna try that. It smells good. We're gonna try it and see how that works. So let's get going here because no time to waste. Today we're gonna to be using My uh, razor blade, which is the uh, Mula R41, the one I got by mistake. And I'm going to be putting the uh, Wilkinson sword blade in there by Gillette. Let's see, I don't put that in upside down again, which I've done twice so far. Let me see. Hang on, I'll get it. One of these days. <laughs> I did it again. Hang on. The problem is getting old. Can't see. Okay. Three piece. Mula R41. Made in Germany. Got the little thicker handle. There it is with the Wilkinson Gillette blade in there. Voices start to come back a little bit, so I'm happy about that. There it is, excellent blade, open comb, a little aggressive, but guess what, I did order the R89, and that'll be coming soon. I've already paid for it, it's on its way. So that'll be our next review on that. So here we go, let's get going. I'm gonna warm up my face real quick. Put some water, take these off real quick. Okay. I got that on there. We're going to put the pre shave, which is going to be so far my favorite. I love it. Got a little bit of growth. Boy, that metal is something else. Okay, here we go. Got that block. So we're gonna take a little water, put it inside the bowl. Oh, this is my little Simpson. What is it? T1. T1 brush, first time using it. Let's see what kind of mess I can make. It's making a nice lather. That soap is really nice. No great. I like it. Let me put my glasses back on so I can kind of make out what I'm doing. Naturally, I would have to get water in it. Hang on. Back in action. Okay, the leather is coming out nice. I'm looking at the clock, I've got places to go, things to do. I'm running late. There it goes. Nice little size bowl for a little hand bowl. 
This is the Simpson T1 synthetic brush. And it feels very nice. Excellent. Doing a real nice job. Excellent. Okay. Let me get a towel. Because I know I'm going to make a mess. Okay. There we go. Stick that up so I can breathe. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna shave into the telephone. See if I can do that. <laughs> Maybe not, I'm not sure. Here we go. All right, here we go. Nice and easy. Smooth strokes. Certainly nice lather. Very interesting, lavender. Nice smell. Got a little bit of a beard going. Normally a very light bearded. This I waited the next day. Here we go over here. It's going with the grain today. Trying to establish some sort of pattern or routine. Gonna let my mustache grow out a little bit. See how that works. Now, it's it off the blade. The weather up here has been horrendous in Northern California, in San Francisco. Santa Cruz is devastated. Unbelievable. The water is just like a monster. It's coming in all over the place. Inland. About 30 miles from San Francisco, residential people have rivers on their street. Looks like an actual river. It's terrible. I feel very sad. We've got a leak too. Thank God we had a roofer that knew another roofer and they came back and patched it up temporarily till the weather clears, then they'll come back and fix it. But thank God. They were able to do that for my ceiling filling. And that's done. I like this Wilkinson uh, short blade by Gillette. Very nice. He's going to trim the mustache just a little bit. I'm going to try to get it a little fuller. Look, looks like I got myself. Yep. I got one right here. Maybe put a little bit of this on there. So I don't think that would help. Okay, let me put these off again. I gotta reach off. Okay, come up for it. Okay. Shave on Aramis. Old school. Aramis, old school, very good. Anyways, that was a little hack I was talking about the soap. 
Give that a try. See if you like it. Uh, I'm only gonna do one shave, one one pass today. I've got to run, but oh, hang on. There we go. Okay. Today's joke. Let's get right into it. This big fat guy falls into the ocean, right next to a marina. Doesn't know how to swim. And he's trying to get, he's hollering and screaming, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. And he just passes out and his momentum just keeps him floating toward the pier. And then these two guys see him and they jump down to the dock and they try to grab him out, but this man's 400 pounds. And they try to pull him out. And they pull him out halfway. And the guy says, we've got to get the water out of him. He's drowned. So the guy who tried to do something they can't, they said, hang on, I got an idea. So he ran back to his boat, came back, and he brought a hand bilge pump. And he took the hose of the pump and stuck it down the guy's throat, and he started bilging out the water, bilging out the water. And it's coming out like a waterfall. Unbelievable. Just everything just coming out, water, water. All of a sudden, seaweed starts coming out of there. So what? Then all of a sudden, a fish comes out of there. They just keep pumping. And then a starfish comes out of there. An old guy comes up to them. Fellas, you guys are doing a great thing here. So you're trying to save the man's life. But I think if you guys pull the rest of him out and get his ass out of the water, you'll be a lot better. Otherwise, you're going to drain the whole ocean. That's it. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, the next one will be better than that one. Catch you later. This is Alex out. Have a good day. God bless America. God bless you. If you want to subscribe, do what you got to do. Push the button. Push the bell. Let me know if you want me to say some jokes out there. Email me. Do what you got to do. I'll be happy to say them. Take care. Bye-bye. Alex out.